at the University of Washington, we've been looking into ways to improve our ability to get children to practice outside of the therapy clinic. Um, and we think that practicing motor skills outside of the therapy clinic is important because without a lot of repetition, motor learning is not going to occur. And with very specific repetition, we are hoping that we can change the neural plasticity and actually improve motor control and movement in the child's home and community. So one of the ways we've been working on that is to try to come up with a fun intervention that was motivating for kids to do at home and we're leveraging technology, virtual reality technology, to do that. In the stable system, what we're doing specifically is uh, controlling the sensory input to a child as they try to do a balancing activity. And we're controlling the sensory input by manipulating the surface they stand on and having the child wear virtual reality goggles, which controls the visual um, input. And by controlling those two systems, we hope to um, provoke the child to utilize the vestibular system. The other system we have is the neurogame therapy system, and that's a specific uh, biofeedback system where we're trying to teach children with cerebral palsy and other disorders how to specifically activate one muscle group and relax the other one. So within the gaming system, we're using Surface EMG uh, to record their muscle activations and we're selectively teaching them to activate one agonist while they relax the antagonist. The child is working on activating the wrist extensors while relaxing the wrist, wrist flexors. And that's just the application we have now. It could be used on any muscles throughout the body and we're looking at lower extremity applications as well as this upper extremity one. Um, but the idea is that by activating the muscle that we want them to activate without the antagonist, it moves the cursor across the screen within a game, a video game. So what the child is doing is playing the game, but in order to play the game, they have to selectively activate these muscles a number of times in a row. So it's a good motor learning uh, repetition, um, getting at exactly what we want to in therapy. And Having fun? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Extra fun. Okay. Yay! That's awesome. Gonna go to the next level.